In 2023, the fashion world was all about leather, fur, feathers, and tassels, and the New Year's trends look bigger, bolder, and brighter than ever. From sculptural ensembles to transparent skirts, here's what you'll see in the new year. Pants. Who needs them? Apparently, no one in 2024. You heard it here first, pants are officially out. This year, we can expect to see fashionistas ditching the trousers and opting for a pair of ultra-short shorts, or even less. She's not wearing any pants. Teeny tiny shorts have been all over the runway thanks to designers like Sabato DiSarno, Chanel, Alexander McQueen, and Isabel Morant. A number of celebrities have already experimented with the look, including Bella Hadid and Hailey Bieber. While the look may seem pretty daring and modern, it actually dates back to the 50s. As image architect La Roche told Vogue, Sid Charisse and some of the old Hollywood vixens and ingenues used to dance in things like that. It also popped up during the jazzercise trend of the 80s. If you think you'd need to have a lot of confidence to pull a look like this off, well, that's exactly the point. Sharing her own thoughts to Vogue, celebrity stylist Amanda Lim said, I love the confidence and power a good elevated pantless look projects. This look provides a safe space to take control of your image, empower yourself, and hopefully inspire your fashion peers to do the same. So go bold and ditch the pants in 2024. Fans of a retro silhouette rejoice. The 60s shift dress is set to make a major comeback. The 60s shift features a mini skirt hemline along with a very boxy, almost shapeless body. It is often sleeveless, but it can feature long sleeves. Designers like Marnie, Gucci, Michael Kors, and Musoni all debuted 60s style dresses in their 2024 runway shows. The look was originally made popular by designer Mary Quant in the 60s. Twiggy, a model who came to fame in the 1960s, told British Vogue that the look was revolutionary for young women. She said, Before her designs, there were no real clothes for teenagers. If you look at girls in the 50s, most of them are dressed like their mothers. She changed all of that. Hemlines got shorter, and the shift dress emerged as an emblem of the swinging 60s. Now, the look seems to be making a comeback. We can't wait to throw on our shift dresses for our next night out and channel our inner Twiggy. Get ready to channel your inner cowboy or cowgirl because fringes are coming back into fashion. Don't worry, though, they won't look like the ranch wear of old westerns. These fringes are ultra-modern. Giorgio Armani, Bottega Veneta, Alberto Ferretti, and Givenchy are just some of the designers leading the way on this trend. At London Fashion Week, fringes also reigned supreme with a number of British designers incorporating the look into their designs, adding movement to their clothes. Next year, add some fun to your outfits by experimenting with different types of fringes and tassels that move with you. These loose threads feel youthful and exciting, and they instantly draw the eye. Uh-oh. Oh, my fringe! My beautiful fringe! Just one layer? Never enough, at least not in 2024. Next year, we can all expect to see lots of layers appearing on the catwalks and the streets. At the 2024 fashion shows, designers like Form and Prada created designs that would look incomplete on their own, but paired perfectly with base layers. And remember, layering doesn't have to be a simple case of putting a sweater and a scarf over a t-shirt. Get creative with how and what you layer this coming year. Play with fabrics, prints, and colors that feel like they shouldn't go together. Rearrange with the order of your layers. Who knows, you might come up with a totally original outfit that shows off the best version of you. Greta Gerwig's record-breaking Barbie movie sent all of us into Barbie mania. Pink was the it color of the summer, and Barbie-inspired outfits were quite literally everywhere. In the new year, Chanel is still very much on the Barbie train, as their Resort 24 collection proves. Although Barbie pink is still the height of fashion, another shade of pink is also set to make waves, millennial pink. The softer, more muted shade has appeared in designs by Tori Burch, Carolina Herrera, and Sandy Liang, among others. So don't give away those summer outfits just yet, because the fashion world is still thinking pink in 2024. Florals have long been a fashion staple, but roses are the it flower in 2024. Some designers crafted metallic rose jewelry, while others sewed roses and rosettes onto clothing. Belma's 2024 show featured a number of roses, and actually titled the show A Rose is a Rose is a Rose. Other designers who've hopped on the trend include Blue Marine, Simone Rocha, Tanner Fletcher, Sandy Liang, and Palomo Spain. And that's just a few. Speaking to High Snobiety, Susan Alexandra lead designer Susan Korn had this to say about the trend, Roses represent beauty and romance. Love is what we're all looking for in 
in everything we do. She went on to add that roses are a powerful symbol of femininity itself, saying, The name Rosette is inspired by that point in a rose's life cycle when it is not yet fully in bloom and still in bud form. We use rosebuds to represent the many phases of being a woman. Bright red was a big color in 2023, but reds are going deeper and darker in the new year. Expect to see burgundy absolutely everywhere. The trend was spotted on runways at shows from Gucci to Bottega Veneta to Saint Laurent, who experimented with deep red leather jackets and skirts, along with unusual burgundy bras. Burgundy is a chic and sophisticated color that suggests moody evenings in late-night bars or romantic candlelit dinners. Not quite red and not quite purple, this trending shade reminds us of a glass of full-bodied Cabernet Sauvignon. Heads up, there's a new bag in town for 2024, introducing the Longchamp Roseau Essential Hobo Bag, which you're going to see everywhere. Speaking to Harper's Bazaar, Aru founders Jose Luis Bartolome and Albert Escribano said that the bag heralds a comeback of the 2000s aesthetic, with a silhouette that hues closer to the body. If you can't get your hands on this particular bag, opt for a similar bag with the same crescent moon shape. It may be a bit of a throwback, but it's definitely back in style for 2024. In fact, Stylite reported that Half Moon bag sales are already up by 118%. In other words, pretty soon, everyone is going to have one. Blazers are back, and they're quite literally bigger than ever. Oversized blazers were actually one of 2023's big trends, and it seems that our love of big, boxy blazers isn't going anywhere anytime soon. This year's blazers are shaping up to be extra large, like large enough to swallow you up. The bigger, the better. Designers like Izzy Miyake, Marnie, and Carven are all showing ultra-big blazers. Chandler, that jacket, it's way too big. Oh, that's okay. The pants are way too small. So how does one actually style a blazer that's so big? According to NAKD's experts, there are a few ways to make a big slouchy blazer look good. First, be sure to find balance in your outfit. Pair the blazer with a fitted top or a pair of slim pants to ensure the blazer stands out and doesn't completely overwhelm you. Also, experiment with different fabrics for different seasons to make this style work all year round. Clothes don't always have to just hang limply off our bodies. They can also become artful sculptures that take on a life of their own. In 2024, expect to see sculptural garments on the rise. The best sculpted pieces should maintain their shape no matter what you're doing or what the weather is like. Unlike a good fringe, a sculpted piece is static and has no movement at all. Designers like Robert One and Schiaparelli have mastered the look. Actor Saoirse Ronan gave us a preview of the trend in December when she wore a gorgeous white set by Louis Vuitton that featured a pleated sculptured crop top that looked more like a piece of art than a piece of clothing. Skirts are in, but only if we can see straight through them. I knew this skirt was see-through. We already know that layering is set to be a big trend in 2024, and one of the biggest layer trends we are expecting to see is the trend of layering a transparent skirt over shorts, trousers, or even a leotard. Designers like Givenchy, Saint Laurent, Gucci, Dolce & Gabbana, and Versace are just some of the brands that have included clear skirts in their collections. Saint Laurent is even debuting an entire exhibit dedicated to transparent clothing. Le Pouvoir de Mater, or The Power of Materials, in February 2024. Of course, pulling off this look isn't easy. One recommended way to style a clear skirt is to wear it over a pair of skinny trousers or over a tight miniskirt, although those aren't the only options. Lisa Bueller, founder of Lisa Says Ga, also had thoughts on the bold look, saying, I love the confidence it embodies. It says I'm sexy and I know it, and that is just the vibe I need right now. Who can't relate to that? We are officially sold.